Okay. Greetings, Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope. So here you are, Mercury ruled sign. We've got Mercury and Aquarius. Now Aquarius is a sign with a face on it, just like Gemini. Any sign that has a face on it, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Virgo, these are good Mercuries. These are Mercuries that can communicate. They can get a message across because there is a head and a voice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's not that if you don't have Mercury in that sign, you're not necessarily a good communicator. There are other things in a chart that could alter that course. Having Mercury well-placed in a third house, for instance, could mediate any damage from a, a more mute or dumb Mercury. <laughs> You know, I like to think of Mercury a lot of times as a trickster in a lot of ways. It goes both ways. And I think Virgos seem to wrestle with their inner evil, and Geminis are much better at ex expressing it outwardly. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so, you know, Sun is in your ninth house in Aquarius. So this is a celebration of life. It's getting higher wisdom, a sense of philosophy, a sense of good fortune, you're better with music, you're better with languages, you're good at foreign education, you're good at travel, all these things are good. Now we got this full moon that's coming into uh, Leo on uh, Tuesday, and that's gonna help open up your communication in the neighborhood, get in touch with brothers and sisters, old friends from college and high school, all of that. You know, that is part of the moon and Leo for you. And it makes you a little more bold in self-expression. So you, you can expect that. Beyond that, I would say, you know, pay attention to your social life. Um, if you're alone and you haven't had anybody in a while, you might meet somebody in a party or some kind of gathering. It happens. It happens to the worst of them, I hear. <laughs> 